film is a story presented in visual terms, but what about the business of bringing the movie to the audience? That can be a story in itself. And who better to tell the story of a pioneering independent cinema group in South Africa than A.B. Musa? The Avalon Group can be traced back to 1939, when A.B. Musa Sr. opened a single cinema in Durban. After a successful first decade, his son Musa Musa faced the onslaught of apartheid. But he kept the dream alive and rebuilt the family business. In 1991, he was joined by his son, A.B. Jr., whose youthful energy complemented his father's decades of experience in the entertainment industry. This guy actually Andrew's been calling me. The young A.B. has a voracious appetite for work and had arranged to meet Zaki at his corporate HQ. Hello! <laughs> So How, good are to see you? You. How are you? Good, good, good. good. <laughs> Shall we? Yes. So welcome to our office. This is our new place in Johannesburg. As you know, we come from the cinema and media legacy, but we've now gone into uh, IT business as well. As you can see, the office design is a very creative environment. It's very inspiring. Yeah, that's part of the idea. I think part of the world of media, arts and creativity is having a, a business environment, but having an environment that also inspires and engenders creative thought, creative thinking, because that's very much the, the essence of technology media. A lot of uh, planning and ideas that come from making the wonderful media images that we see in the platforms of technology uh, that we all use every day, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, so all different multiple forms of uh, social media. A.V., how did your grandfather come to be involved in the cinema? As a young boy, he used to sell newspapers to earn pocket money uh, so he could go to the cinema. He had the love of cinema and he had a dream that one day he'd own his own cinema so he could go for free. And that's how the dream started some years later and he started the first Avalon in 1939. You are clearly so passionate about cinema. Where did your passion start? As a young boy, I remember going to my first cinema uh, experience with my dad. It was in Canada where I grew up uh, and we went to watch The Black Stallions. It was the movie, the experience, sitting in an auditoria, the popcorn of course. I think sharing a moment with my dad as well was just a whole wonderful experience. Did you say popcorn? You read my mind. Now let's go and show off our lovely Kiladi <laughs> cinema. His cinemas are the coalface of AB's business and his management style is too hands-on to be satisfied with running his operation remotely. He likes to keep in touch with the actual cinema going experience. Thank you Robert. This really is the prestige VIP experience. Now you know popcorn and movies are synonymous. So let's get some popcorn before we get into the mm. cinema. There's your popcorn. Thank you. Oh, There's yeah, your man. slush. Mm. Thank you. Let's go watch a movie. This is one of our show pieces. It's uh, the Sydney premiere. Actually the first of its kind in South Africa. So we were the first to bring luxury seating cinema, uh, which is part of the Avalon ethos to be innovative and uh, try new things. I would love to watch movies like this every single weekend. A.B., how do you go about selecting movies for your cinemas? Globally, the commercial films are pretty much followed by everybody. There's a global theme that really succeeds generally around the world, but then each country has its own unique flavor. And so part of my job to travel around the world and see the content is to make sure we're finding content that is uh, appealing to South African audiences besides the mainstream blockbusters. Do you watch movies at home or in the cinema? Quite ironically, I watch uh, films sometimes on flights in between different places that I'm traveling to on my tablet. I get screeners sent to me, so it gets loaded onto my tablets before I uh, travel and I try and watch them preparing for my meetings as well because some of the films that I'm negotiating for, it's good to see some of the content or the promos on it as you travel. But there's nothing that beats the cinema experience, especially in a luxury cinema like this. So for you, what are the ingredients of a great movie experience? It's about that shared experience, having a moment of comedy where a few hundred people are laughing together and it just evolves and makes that experience a far more fun one for everybody and so for me that's really why I like that shared experience. AB, are you optimistic about the future of the South African film industry? I'm very optimistic about South African filmmaking. I think that the last 22 years has been a practice run. Uh, a lot of the content we've had up to now has also been a therapy session dealing with the legacies of our past but now I'm very excited to see South African producers, actors coming together to make content which is far more commercial. And I think that's important because cinema going is a fun experience. It's about entertainment. People 
want to go to the movies to relax, enjoy, come out feeling good. There are important messages that can be conveyed at the same time. But South African cinema is certainly coming of age and I think starting to fit into that global genre. Abi, you are clearly passionate about cinema and business. What else are you passionate about? I love art. A lot of the pieces that I've collected over the years are at my home. And it's just a reflection of the different parts of me and the places I've been and the experiences I've had. AB's love of art piqued Zaki's curiosity, so she was happy to take up his offer to view his collection at home. So, welcome to my sanctuary. Look at these paintings. Yes, I'm a lover of art and each of these different pieces are a different uh, expression of me. Oh my goodness, AB, you really do know how to treat a girl. <laughs> it's a tough life, but someone's got to do it. In addition to being a distributor and producer, AB has also played a role in representing South African business in the global arena, as well as rubbing shoulders with international celebrities at major events and charity initiatives. Where do you see the Avalon Group and yourself in five years' time? Do you know the one thing I've learned in technology is that things change so fast, so trying to predict what's going to happen next week is an achievement, forget five years from now. But I think I hope that I'm able to, as a person, continue to do the legacy proud and use the platforms I have to be for positive use. So what have I learned today? Well, running a business in the entertainment industry is a lot of hard work. You don't have a lot of time to sit back and enjoy the show, even if you own the cinema. But AB takes it all in his stride and he even makes for an interesting movie character while he's at it. <laughs>